Welcome back. A local school in the Wabash Valley will get a new addition to an outdoor play area, but for one family it means so much more. News 10's Gina Glaros has the touching story. When Colin Krockenberger was diagnosed with autism, his mother Jennifer made sure he was taken care of. From that day on, she was devoted to education. Jennifer went to seminars, read, and often helped at Davis Park Elementary School where Colin goes. She was dedicated in helping all kids with autism that she was around. Three years ago, Jennifer found out she had colon cancer. She passed away June 8th of this year. I don't think any guy realizes how much their wife does until they're not around. Um, it's, it's been a, a learning experience, to say the least. Um, it's been tough, uh, but we're, we're getting by. Eric says family, friends, and Davis Park support has helped with that. Up until Jennifer's death, she made sure she was there. Colin just knows that his mother got sick and went away. Um, she was very good at, at planning for this. She had set me up quite well. But one thing she didn't get to see through was a safe place for her son and others to play. This was something that Jennifer wanted. Um, she wanted a place where the kids could go that would be safe and secure something that was more suited to their needs. Eric, Colin's teacher, and Jennifer's friend Missy will build a playground in this space with equipment geared for special needs kids and a fence. He's very adventurous. If something catches his eye, he's going wherever it's at. A safe haven for kids, somewhere teachers don't have to worry. It's just nice to know that they can just explore and enjoy the outdoors and not have to worry about their safety while they're outside. Serving kids like Colin for many more years to come. We thought that this would be a good way to honor her and a good tribute for her. I don't think she would have liked it. In Terre Haute, Gina Galeros, News 10. Now, if you'd like to help raise money for Jennifer's Playground, go to our website. That's WTHITV.com to find out how.